Look at this question. They said, simplify the expression radical 300 x to the power 5, y to the power 9. Let's write it. Radical 300 x to the power 5, y to the power 9. How are we going to do that? We know that every number repeated twice inside the radical, which means that you can take it outside the radical. Now we have 300. 300, which is 3 times 100. 100, it is 10 times 10. So we can take it one time outside, so it becomes 10 outside, radical, and we keep inside 3. Now we finish the 300. Now x to the power 5, x to the power 5, we can write it as x squared times x squared times x. So every x squared, we can take it one time outside. So x squared outside becomes x, but we have twice. We have two times x squared, so it becomes x squared outside. So x and x outside, multiply them together, you get x squared. Now regarding the y to the power 9, y to the power 9, we can write it as y squared times y squared times y squared times y squared times y. So how many times we can take the y outside the radical? We can take it four times, so it becomes y to the power 4. And what's left inside? Left by y. So we can write y inside. So the final answer is 10x squared y to the power 4 radical 3y. And look at here, we also forgot x here, so we need it to be inside. So the answer is 3yx inside the radical, 10x squared y4 outside the radical. Now, if you want to do it faster than expanding the expression, so let's say y to the power 9, we can write it as, look at the number which is closer to 9 but even. It is 8, so we can write it y to the power 8 times y, and this one you can divide the power by 2 and make the variable outside, like y to the power 8, divide 8 by 2, you get 4, so write y to the power 4 outside the radical and keep y inside the radical. This is easier in case you have big numbers. Let's say y to the power 125, 127, so you cannot make it y squared, y squared, y squared, and so on. Here they are asking how many distinct solutions are in the solution set for the equation below. The equation is absolute 2x minus 1 equal to 4x plus 5. Let's write it. Absolute 2x minus 1 equal to 4x plus 5. They're not asking for the solution. They're asking how many solutions. So if you have 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or other. So what do we do here? You know that the way that of the shift solved by calculator, you know, here we have absolute value. So there is a key on, on the calculator which is called ABS, ABS. This represents the absolute value. So you can press it and type the equation as it is. Go for the shift solve. Try using first time minus 10 and find the answer. Go back, do the shift solve again and put plus 10 you will have the same answer. You get the same answer, which means that the solution of this equation is the same, which is one solution. So we can write one solution. Let's solve it manually. To solve this equation, you know that when we have absolute value, so we write 2x minus 1 is equal. The first time we have it 4x plus 5, or we write 2x minus 1 is equal to the opposite of 4x plus 5. Now we solve this, minus 4x, minus 4x, here plus 1, plus 1, we get, cancel, 4x cancel, you get 2x minus 4x, which is minus 2x, is equal 5 plus 1, which is 6, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, we get x is equal to negative 3. This is the first solution we get. Let's try the second one, 2x minus 1 is equal minus Multiplied by 4x, you get minus 4x. Minus by 5, you get minus 5. Now, plus 4x, plus 4x, plus 1, plus 1. Cancel, cancel. You get 2 plus 4, which is 6x, is equal minus 5 plus 1, which is minus 4. Divide by 6, divide by 6, you get x is equal to minus 4 over 6, which is minus 2 over 3. Now, generally speaking, we got two answers here, but we don't know if they are two solutions or not, unless we replace them in the main equation here. 
So we need to replace them in the main equation to see that if they provide us equal for both sides of the equation. So let's try absolute 2 multiplied by a negative 3 minus 1 is equal to 4 multiplied by a negative 3 plus 5. 2 times minus 3 minus 6 minus 1 minus 7 absolute minus 7 is 7 is equal 4 times minus 3 which is minus 12 plus 5 which is minus 7 7 equal to minus 7 it's impossible so x equal to minus 3 is not a solution so we say rejected solution and we try x equal to minus 2 over 3 we write absolute 2 into minus 2 over 3 minus 1 is equal 4 into minus 2 over 3 plus 5 you get 2 times minus 2 over 3 which is minus 4 over 3 minus 1 do it by calculator you get minus 7 over 3 in absolute value it becomes plus 7 over 3 is equal 4 times minus 2 over 3 you get minus 8 over 3 plus 5 do it by calculator you get 7 over 3 which means that they are equal so this is an accepted solution so in this case here that confirms that we have only one solution for this equation then we can choose one solution here we have a function f is defined below f of x equal to x squared minus ax they said find f of a let's write if f of x is equal to x squared minus ax to find f of a, replace x by a, so we have f of a is equal to a squared minus a into a, which is equal to a squared minus a times a, which is a squared also. a squared minus a squared, you get zero, and that is a straightforward question. And this is a nice real MSAT questions. I hope you like it. And if you want to get more real questions, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Keep following and I will get you more.